that the American Gothic is the kind of the transposing of these wonderful fictional characters that we see in things like Gone with the Wind into the grotesque characterizations that we then see in Tennessee Williams. And it is heavily culturally symbolic. And that is why I believe it can't come from anywhere else in America. American writing is all about the search for identity. If you want to, I think if you want to classify English writing, I think we're pretty preoccupied with class. <laughs> we're a little bit obsessed with class in this country in our writing. America doesn't have a class system, it has a case system. So if we're defined by the search for class, American writing is defined by the search for identity. It doesn't matter what you read, you can read anything. No dick? Not really about search for Jared Well, about search for man's <laughs> identity. Yeah? Ernest Hemingway did this very well. You know, kind of left the country to go and think about what it meant to be an American man in his environment. F. Scott Fitzgerald. They all did it. Tennessee Williams is no different. No different. Arthur Miller, all these writers, no different. What marks Tennessee Williams as different is he comes from that Southern Gothic tradition, which to me, none of the others, they can appreciate, but they can't understand. Because it has affected his upbringing from the 50 or 70 years before it happened. Um, he, so he would have been 100 today, but he was born in 1911, um, and he was born into Mississippi. And if you go to Mississippi, it's pretty much one of the most rural southern environments that you can kind of be involved in. If you drive, it's very swamp, kind of driving through Mississippi. Um, and he is born into a, a very religious culture. His grandparents were Episcopalian preachers, which his grandfather was. His father was very absent in his early life. He was a travelling salesman didn't see a lot of him. And his mother was the typical famous Southern Belle. Terrible delusions of grandeur. Always thought that everything was slightly kind of below her. 